Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Dairy Magazine, reporting to you from Tulare, where Arlen Vanderwada, a dairyman from Merced, addressed the dairy producers about his operation and the benefits of using genomics and breeding better milking cows and the profitability of selling Angus heifers in the current beef market. Basically, we needed a breed, and Angus was really popular at the time. Um, we, we're dairymen, we're not beef marketing at all, so we just wanted something that we knew we'd be able to market somewhere, and so we went with Angus. Um, yeah, like I said, we're very happy with that. The market is extremely strong right now. And what we're doing is we're breeding uh, our top 70% or 60% of our genomically tested heifers are going to uh, sex semen. Uh, the bottom 40% and top 50% of our milking herd are going to conventional and then the bottom 50% of our milking herd is going to Angus. So, uh, Yeah, we're getting about uh, 800 Angus a year, plus or minus, and we raise them to about 550 pounds and then sell them to uh, Grimius cattle. The goal of the whole program was to get down from uh, 3,200 heifers down to about 21 to 2,200 heifers and so far we're down to about 2,600. Uh, we need to get rid of another 400 heifers somehow, so we'll continue to change our program and get the Angus probably a little bit more. And I would recommend it just because the value of uh, beef is so high right now that we're making about probably 300 bucks a head, um, and that's in seven to seven and a half months. Uh, oh, Springer usually takes 22 to 24 months, and you're going to make maybe three or 400 bucks over her in a lifetime. With us, we hope to make that in about eight months or less. And so that's our goal. We have less heifers, and we're making money on our beef, and we're pretty happy with the whole system. Um, if you can't feed the animals, there's a value to the day-old crosses also. And talk to your calf buyers, and they'll have that for you. Well, it helps because we're making money on uh, the beef side of it, which helps pay for the genomics testing and we're using less feed, feeding less heifers, which means we can use the feed more for our cows and uh, not have to buy as much. So yeah, overall it helps very much uh, with the money side of the whole thing. Dairy producers like Arlen adapting to the times and making the most of the current market trends is so valuable for the continued sustainability of the California dairy industry, especially in times of drought and high feed prices as we've been experiencing. Learn about these farmers in California Dairy Magazine. I'm Matthew, reporting from CaliforniaAgNet.com.